Well, it's time for another big chapter in the farm all project. We had a little bit of a calamity because my dad and I left the uh, sediment bowl pieces sitting on the operator's platform for the tractor. And since it's been at least a week since we've been out here and there's been weather and things like that going on, the, uh, the filter screen and the cork gasket, they blew away. Of course, the sediment bowl, being made of glass, was heavy enough and courteous enough to stick around. All the old gas is out of the tractor now. What little, uh, what little was left in the tank, I think, ran out when we took the uh, sediment bowl off. And, of course, the engine was effectively out of gas before that. But today's big, today's big thing is to get this uh, sickle mower off the back here, disconnect it from the tractor, and see if the tractor is actually capable of moving, which should, cer which should certainly be very interesting. We've got some fresh gas to put in it. That's the filter screen that goes in the top of the sediment bowl assembly. Jacks is an early and simpli simplistic fuel filter of sorts. The heavy stuff sinks out into the bottom of the sediment bowl, and anything that would stay in solution would end up being forced through that fine filter mesh. Now, can you look up there? Yeah, it looks like it's in, in place pretty good to me. It looks like it's solidly in place with nothing sagging or... So the little screen might be in place? I think it is. Watch from a sediment bowl to see how much it leaks. All right. Please. No leak. Oh, leakage, leakage, leakage. We got leakage. <laughs> Something's leaking. <laughs> and we got rust. Lots of rust, too. Our gas leak has slowed down quite a bit, although it's still leaking slowly. Hmm. I wonder why. Switch. Here's our first start attempt. Maybe you want to take the Mountain Dew thing off there? <laughs> the key keeper, he likes to blow those right off the top. But... It's not too shabby. Go get my meter and see if we're charging. Well, I'm not going to say it isn't charging, but it's not charging very strong. Let's see if the position of the light switch makes any difference to it. I don't think it will. I don't think this is that type of regulation system. Now it's better than nothing. We're getting ready to take a look at the brushes on our generator, and I think this is a three brush generator. No sooner have we got the inspection cover off, and through some amazing miracle, the, the screw holding the inspection cover in place actually came off properly without the use of any solvents or liquid ranch or anything like that, but check that out. That's duct tape. Very high end. <laughs> <laughs> Very high end. Nothing but the best around this place. I really kind of question those connections on that regulator. 
Well, shall I work on them a little bit? Probably wouldn't hurt. Might also need to repolarize the generator given how many years it's been sitting without a battery attached. Well, do you know how to do that? I think so. <laughs> but this is definitely, definitely a three brush design. It is? Yeah, the third brush is on the other side. Oh, good. It doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like there's anything too seriously wrong in there. Well, it's got to be doing a little bit of charging. Unfortunately, folks, I don't have a good place to stick my meter in and uh, use it in ammeter mode and see what we're doing. That was interesting. Our ammeter is not mechanically stuck. It's not reading anything. Our mother has come out to join us in Ruby, the 2002 Park Avenue. rig up an ammeter when I get home. Nothing but the finest. Looks better now. <laughs> I don't know. This is how you used to have to do it, folks. <laughs> like I said in one of my previous videos, this is some of the coldest, best tasting water you have ever had in your life. It is cold. No, no additives, no preservatives, no messing around. Okay, you can stop. I don't suppose you'd carry the bucket. Yeah, I will. All right, there were some of you asking about this. This tractor's serial number is 143. Five five one. I can probably look up a decoder and see what that means about this thing's production date. That's that's the theory. <laughs> I have no idea if this thing will come unhitched or not. <laughs> Should be interesting. Find out if we didn't disconnect any hydraulic lines. That's for sure. Have we got a clutch, guys? Hope so. Oh, must have some clutch. Let him put it into gear. That thing hadn't come undone yet. Believe it or not, our ammeter is not totally dead to the world. It's not really responding correctly, and we broke the glass on it. But it does indicate some change in the output of the generator relative to the position of the throttle. Uh oh, oh now, you're, now your head's turning. Alrighty, score one for the home team. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, if I can get up. And then straighten up. Oh, oh. Don't bang your head. <laughs> Let's see how this one goes. Well, room is with a premium. 
reach through there and hold that wrench. Can you do that? Yes. Just like that. Okay. Okay, let go up. <laughs> Fell off. Fairly tight. <laughs> I'll take that one off of my hands. <laughs> uh -huh. That's really a miracle. <laughs> Oops. There. My shirt might have just gotten. No, I think your I think your shirt's okay. Now you get away. All right. Because you see this thing is changing pitch. Yeah, it's starting to shift. You're not going to get hurt, are you? No, I'm not planning on it. Nobody ever is. Both, both got cinder blocks. Going to try to avoid dumping the mower on the ground. Let's see if this thing comes free now. Nothing to it. He says green acres, as far as you can see. <laughs> a little later we'll, work, we'll learn about reinstalling a fence when he crashes into it. Well, nothing too much fell off. Alright, it's probably time to see if that thing can make it to our house. That's probably the road gear right there. even got some brakes. That's pretty amazing, really. Did you see the TV comedy Green Acres? No, I did not. Well, Eddie Albert and one of the Gabor sisters starred in a show called Green Acres. And Eddie Albert was a big-time city lawyer, and he wanted to get out of the country out of the city into the country and he bought a place out in the country and he would sing green acres it's i i don't know I've, i don't know the words but green acres it's always where i wanted to be and so on and, on. <laughs> and eva gabor who played his wife she wanted to be back in the city she hated the country then there was another guy by the name of mr haney who had everything Eddie Albert needed at a price <laughs> and was always fixing him up and it, it just it was just a cute little show that ran for I think several years I believe okay Lock the door up again. Think we can make it in there? <laughs> you think we can make it in there? Yeah, 
I think we can. Can't think of any reason why not. I can think of a lot of reasons why not. <laughs> hey, this is right uptown. Stays put now. I ran a piece of wire through it. <laughs> hey, I got air conditioning. That's even more uptown. I got tape deck. I got tape deck too. Suppose I can turn this tight with the truckling? Nope. Back up. Try again. Can't believe I'm getting beat out of here by a Farmall Super C. <laughs> I don't hear my tape. One tire looks a little funny on that tractor. Of course, it's not on the bead right. <laughs> if you can't believe we're doing this, you better believe it. Here's the definition of a traffic jam here in Illinois. Ten cars lined up waiting to pass a tractor. <laughs> yeah, that Saturn back there better watch. You're going to get run over by a Pontiac. That's one thing. Uh, when you're on a tractor like this out on the public highways, it's a hazardous occupation because there's people out here who just drive like idiots. And when you're vulnerable, like when you're on a tractor or a motorcycle over there, you can really get in trouble. Professional drivers tend to be the most uh, cognizant and respectful of tractors, but we've had to deal with a few idiots on that front too. This is also a really good way to see the countryside, you know, take things at a slower pace. And when you're on a tractor and you're riding along the highway like this, it's really shocking how much litter and stuff gets thrown alongside the roadbed there. He is. Let's see how we're doing on stuff like water temperature and things like that. Exhaust pipe hot enough, isn't it? 150 degrees in there. Let's see what the radiator camp measures. 145 and a half. Of course, the oil's, the oil's hot now, it's thinned out. 